Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. So hey, I have an, unbo an unboxing for you. This is from a company um, that asked me to do an unboxing of their products. And so they sent me three diamond paintings. Look how nice this is. And one of their products, which is a um, hanging frame. And I've never tried those, so I was very excited. I think it's so kind when companies reach out to me and want me to unbox their products. And as you all know, I always give an honest review. Honestly, the majority of the diamond paintings I buy myself. You can look at my credit card bill to prove that it's pretty big. Don't tell my husband. Um, all right, so first, they came in a big bag and then each one came in their own padded envelope. Very nice. I always talk about the packaging. Now they're folded up in here. So these are ones that you may have to, um, you may have to put them under your mattress. That's, that's my trick. Everybody wants to know, you know, what's the best way? What's the, the best company to order from? What's the best way to do things? There is no best way. There's what's best for you. And none of the, the ways are wrong. They're all okay. Okay, so this is um, clear plastic. Uh, I want to say poured glue, but I think it might be double-sided tape. Honestly, I don't care either way. Um, look at that design though. Oh my gosh, it's a stunning butterfly. This is full drill. Tons of confetti. And 24 colors in a 40 by 30. Wow, this is going to be a fun one to do because look at those colors. All right, here's the drills. Let me show you. They're all numbered and prepackaged. Um, they've got the their own number. And the DMC doesn't look like it's on the packaging but the DMC is on the key that they provided. So if that matters to people. Now there's slight wrinkles because it was folded up, but that is absolutely not a problem. My preferred method is I have these three big pieces of cardboard so that I can flatten two at a time. And I just slip them in between the cardboard and then I slide the whole thing between my mattress and my box spring. Um, in other cases, I put them, I, I lay all my canvases in a pile in my closet on a shelf. So they're all laying flat and the, the weight of the stash really flattens them out well. I'm taking a good close look at these drills. Look at those pretty colors. Uh, it's not focusing. Let's see. There we go. There is no moisture. Anyone who's ever had oily drills know what I'm looking for. There is no moisture and they're beautiful with flat back. Sometimes when the back is concave like, like this, um, it doesn't, the drill doesn't sit flat into the adhesive. It just connects around the, the edges. And that's where you get your popping drills from all the time, when they're just not seated into the adhesive very well. Um, also, no training wheels. Let me do a close-up. 
They didn't put those awful big black circles, which you get with the rounds. I don't, I don't like those black circles because sometimes they peek out a bit and I spend too much time trying to straighten my drills. Um, do you know what I mean by training wheels? It's the black circle that they put on round canvases. Do you, um, let me know in the comments what you think of training wheels. I'm, I'm just not a fan. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so the, the tool kit is very standard. It's just a green boat, pink wax, single drill pen. That is all you need. This kit has everything you need to diamond paint. You could... You could get started as long as you had some little containers or something. I like the clear covers because when I use a clear cover, I do one color at a time. I'll do one color and I'll search for it all over. And then when I've done enough that the cover doesn't stick anymore because there's so many drills, it won't stick anymore. Um, that's when I rip the cover off, throw it away, and finish. These covers do tend to have a right and a wrong side. So some people will take a Sharpie and put a, a letter or a symbol so they know the, the top side. If you take it all the way off and put it on the wrong side down, it will stick. And then you're going to have to break out your baby wipes. I've been trying to just um, give you guys hints and things in my unboxings because, you know, honestly, I learned so much when I got started from the unboxing videos and watching the paint with me's and things like that. So here's the second one they sent me. My gosh, that butterfly was stunning. Let me put the picture up of the butterfly for you first. Now here's the second. Oh, that's a little bunny. Look at that little bunny. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And this is an even smaller one. It's a 30 by 30 full drill round, but um, again, lots of confetti. So, and 23 colors. Wow. For a 30 by 30, that's a lot of colors. So the, I think that enough detail will be there. Wow, that is adorable. So cute. Same toolkit. Green boat, pink wax, pink pen. I have so many pink pens and I use them in my, um, my custom pens that I have. And, uh, still I have a ton. I'm, I send them to people. What do you, what do you do with your pens? Do you hold on to them? Cause I feel like, like I'm such a, I'm on the borderline of being a hoarder, and I, I have a hard time throwing them away. My husband thinks I should toss them all. This one is a full drill square, it looks like. Yep, nice flat backs, no moisture. This one is very dark. You know, not every diamond painting is bright neon colors. Some of them have beautiful shading. This one has very dark colors, but on this side, there's like a muted pink and a mauve. I, I just love colors. I love them. Wow, that's going to be fantastic. That is so cute. Let me put it on the pile. There we go. Okay, that's two. Okay, there's the third. They were so nice to send these to me. 
Okay, now this one is so cute. It's funny. It's like two little, two little gnomes. Um, if you play The Sims 4, you are a fan of gnomes, I'm sure. It says something on there, but I'm not sure what it says. I got a... Oh, it's five o'clock somewhere. Because see, the gnome has his beverage. He has a big old beverage with a pineapple and a cherry on it. Oh, that's cute. This is going to be very cute. It's 25 colors. It's a 30 by 40 full drilled round. And now see, now that I said something bad about training wheels, now this one has the training wheels. Do you see the little circles? Like I said, it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm loving um, all of the detail just in his beard. Look at his beard. Do you see all those different symbols? That's a lot of confetti. Wow, this is going to be cute. A cute little starfish and beach ball. Same toolkit. Green boat, pink wax, pink pen. Everything you need. And the drills. Now, this one has a lot more brighter colors. There's blues, the ocean, the sky, pinks and reds. Oh, my gosh. These two are so cute. I was just, I was thinking that was his wife, and, the, and then I'm like, wow, she's got a big beard. Do female gnomes have beards? No, I think those just two buddies. And here's all the drills. They all look good. I will do an inventory. I always do an inventory off color, um, off camera, sorry, <laughs> off color, because you don't want to sit here and watch me counting. I, I find that so boring when I watch other people. So I do the inventory off camera, and then I if I find anything missing, I report it to the company or work with them or check my, my stash of extra drills. Wow, these three were very cute. They're all unique. They're designs I've never seen before. That makes me very happy. Okay, now the last thing she told me she was, the girl told me she was sending me a, a hanging frame. And oh my gosh, I got so excited because um, I tend to frame my pictures, my completed diamond paintings on a painted stretched canvas that you can buy like an artist canvas from Walmart. Um, but I like having different ways of framing around the house. And I've seen these and I've heard about these. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to have to flatten this out too, but look at this. First of all, this is the hanger. And it's got these adorable little blue tassels. And it's, it's like a little um, envelope, clear cover envelope. So I could, I could slide a diamond painting, a small one, in there. In there. And then hang it. From the ribbon I'll tie this here and tie the other one on the other side so I can hang it like that and then I'll put the two little tassels up there too oh that's adorable very smart somebody figured out an easy way and since you're just sliding it in here I, you can change it out. You know, some people say, what do you do with all your diamond paintings? Nobody has enough wall space. 
you know, unless you're giving them all away or something. But um, that's a really cute idea. You could hang your seasonal ones in there. Like we all have Christmas and Halloween diamond paintings that we put out. So I got this lovely frame and these three diamond paintings. I love these sizes. I'm, you know, I don't like the super big ones, even though I have a ton of them. I shouldn't say that. I love them. I love every diamond painting. I love the drills. I love, I love sorting things out. I love organizing them. But these are very doable sizes. Oh my gosh, this butterfly is just to die for. So I got these from a company called One Day Savings. I've looked at their website. Their prices are very reasonable. If you're comfortable ordering, um, they did come from China. Oh, no, I take back. Originally they were from China, but these shipped from California. So they've got a company on the West Coast to organize things and ship out. And um, I'm really gonna have fun. Oh, I, I can't get over this butterfly and the bunny is so cute. Um, I'm gonna go back and make sure I put all the pictures in. Hey, all their details are down in the description below the video. There's a link to their website and um, hey, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to see you. I have monthly contests where I give away a diamond painting as a prize. That link is in the description also. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, take a second and subscribe. And then if you tap on the bell, you will be notified when my videos come out. And um, please feel free to email me if you want, or if you have questions, or friend me on Facebook. Um, I'm, I post in my group all the time. Uh, always happy to have more friends and hear more about your diamond painting. Uh, hey, you have a great day. And take care of yourself and happy diamond painting. Bye-bye. <laughs>